Dan Perry here with another C++ tutorial for Dan on Tech. In this video we will look at for loops. We've looked at the uh, some of the other structures and we looked at the if statement. Now let's look at another structure and this structure we're going to look at is the for loop. Now a looping structure is a structure that allows us to repeat an operation multiple times. So what's going to basically happen is we come down and we are counting with the for loop. We're counting the number of times we execute a block of code. So we come down we come down into the if statement or to the I'm sorry the for loop. We check to see if we need to go through the loop again. If so, we go up, we execute the code in the loop, and then we come and we check again. Do we need to continue going through the loop? And we continue through that looping process until we reach the exit condition. And then we continue on in our uh, code. So <clears throat> There are three main types of loops in C++ programming, the for, the while, and the do. And the for loop is typically the one we see first. It's one that we use if we know how many times we need to go through the loop when we enter it. The other two loops are for when the condition to get us out of the loop is dictated by something that goes on in the loop. So with the for loop, the syntax actually starts with the word for, and then in parentheses we supply it with three values. We start a, uh, a start value, an increment, I'm sorry, that's last, third, a stop value, and an increment. And when I say increment here, this is the change in some variable. It could be going up and or going down. Then we have our code in our for loop, and that code can be one or many instructions. So the basic structure of the for loop is we're going to say for some variable starting at a value until it reaches an ending value and it's going to change by a certain amount each time we go through the loop. <clears throat> well, thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.